So we're going to move forward to another example here showing us uh, the option to create a detail view. Uh, now detail view, I, I, I trust most of you know how to create this. Uh, you've probably seen it a lot in demos and all that stuff. Uh, here's a button for it. Now when you click the button, watch what the cursor feedback is going to come back with. Pencil indicating it puts you in sketch command. Circle indicates that it puts you in circle command. So what it's asking you basically is, is draw some sort of a perimeter that it will uh, uh, you know, focus on and create a detailed view from. So let's say this tip of this part is uh, uh, you know, uh, our, our focus and we, we need to uh, you know, create a detailed view of that. I just come in here, draw the circle. See here's the circle. Okay. Don't worry where you place a circle, really. You'll see in a minute why. When you click the circle, the moment you click, here's your detail view. Okay? Very quickly created. Again, one of those automated functions that you know, take uh, no time at all in creating. Um, what you have here now is a live circle that can be edited. If I'm not happy with the way this thing looks like, I click the circle, grab it from the center, and walk it to a better orientation. So let's say maybe I just I changed my mind. I don't want the tip, this tip to be, I want the end. So again, he's focusing on the other side of the model. If I change my mind, I want to go back here. And notice the size of the circle also can be shrunk down. Uh, maybe I want it uh, kind of small like this. Okay, uh, You know, change the letter anywhere you want and you have yourself a detailed view that, uh, you know, can be a range. There's a lot of uh, uh, different schemes that you can pick from, like for instance, right now we have a detailed view per standards, uh, maybe I don't know, maybe you like to have them connected, some people you know, like this orientation type of thing, so I'm showing here where this view is coming from. I mean, these are all in the properties of the view as you would expect, you know, so you can manipulate things around. It's a really nice options there. So detailed view really is very, very simple, very straightforward to use.